Generate a defense skill will fill in the center's bottom skill slot, replacing the current skill or EGO. Hello, welcome back to another play through of Limbus Corp Company, co Company, not Corporation. Oh, goodies! We got some compensation for uh, having to for not playing the game. I think I tried playing the game before, but it, I had errors. It wouldn't let me play. There was clearly something wrong. That's right. Update notice. So now we already have the update. It's pretty because it's pretty much already over. Done. Cool. I guess. All right. Let's see. Let's to go. Womp, womp, womp. Oh yeah, I was told to like do this. Uh, yeah, sure. Lunacy boxes. This is all fairly weird. Is it the same one? Oh, bullshit. You don't know fuck that. I already have. Good shit, I don't need it. Mexican. Uh... Back to Dante's Inferno. Oh, hey, clever or not? What's up? You can grind thread once you beat Chapter Two. Yeah, you right. All right, I think I left off here. Mm -hmm. Difficult the trio difficulty level three. <clears throat> I was shocked to learn that Karen has virtually no sense of direction. Though, I guess it's fortunate that it's come to light this early into the trip. Yuri took matters into her own hands and started teaching her own, teaching her how to read a map. And Sinclair joined, too. They're rather no noisy, but still, I can't say that I hate to see it. War 2-19. Do you have my friend code? I can't remember. I think I entered it. Eh, enter. Battle. Ooh. See if you can borrow my RR-ish mill wall. Well, I mean, like, uh, eh, I don't really, like, uh, mine's just uh, going at it at my own rate with my own characters. It's just more fun that way right now. Great. A fixer. Uh, now, Karen, tell me, is this east or west? Karen only knows two directions, Mephi's front and back. Wow, that's great. How did you come so far with a driver who has zero sense of direction? 
Karen, like I said, the sun rises from the... At the driver's seat, three heads gathered together over a map. Well, one of them might have been at a slightly different elevation from the others. Pfft, Chiquita. Aren't you gonna join them too? Well, I beg your pardon, I have no child, and most certainly not little. Watching Don... He, I forget how to pronounce her fucking name. Quixote. 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 Watching Don Quixote shake her fist sky high at Radia, I noticed a bitter gaze falling upon them out of the corner of my view. I'm starting to think that Yuri gal might have put up with a rough childhood. I think it's Spanish. Maybe, I, I'm not familiar with it. It's just it's hard for me to remember. Gregor turned around to make a glance in my direction, then shook his head and went back to looking at the driver's side with his chin resting on his hands. Wouldn't be on the youngest side either. Some nest used to conscript anyone old enough to hold a knife. Nests? A nest was basically the center of a district, if my memory is correct. Sounds like nests used to get into wars with one another in the past. Did that happen often? Not frequently, but it sure as hell did happen. Interested in learning about wars, manager bud? Oh, I'm not really curious about the details, just gathering info I should know as the manager. As I was about to go on, a glimpse of Gregor's expression I caught from the side stopped me in my tracks. His eyes seemed to be fixed somewhere far more distant than the driver's seat. Don't get me wrong, manager bud. I'm not trying to criticize you or anything. Heck, it's actually a pretty stand-up attitude for a boss, I'd say. He slowly continued taking a pack of cigarettes from his pocket. Still, ignorance is a gift you should savor while you have it, if you ask me. Once you're burdened with knowledge, there's no going back. Without another word, he lit a cigarette. Cool. No, you should have turned right at that intersection! I, I, it's okay, Karen. We can turn around at the next junction. Ah, the woes of a driver. Well, looks like we have more pressing matters at hand. Ain't that right, manager bud? Gregor cackled with cigarette smoke still in his mouth. I was still curious to learn what he'd been through. But he's right that I should focus on other things for now. An urgent matter showed up right before our bus-shaped doorstop, too. <sighs> Enough squabbling now. More enemies and bows. You shoved my pals into that bus, you sick bastards! Are you nuts? You'll pay for this! We were just gonna leave with the boss, but now, I've gotta see you all bleed! Ferg, fuel is making a fuss. Karen will get dizzy if many mouths are being noisy. Nothing to worry about, Karen. They'll shut their mouths soon enough. Off the bus. <laughs> Karen only knows one direction, and that is forward. <laughs> vroom, vroom. God fucking damn it. Like, how does this- Why is our bus being dr driven by a person with the least intelligence about road safety and directions? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Alright. Engaging gameplay. Because Virgilius trusts her more than your squad of losers. All right, yeah, that's fair enough. Good eye, mate. Low morale, fuck yeah. Weak to slash damage. Check this motherfucking shit out. This 
guy was tough. All right, let's go. Let's do this. A lot of greens and a lot of yellow yellows. All right. Ooh, EGO! Here we are. And Faust can use her AoE attack. Yup. Faust knows all outcomes. Frost EGO grants a team SP heal, so it's also nice since it further biases your coin flips. Lol. Again, again, again! Mm. Again. Fatal! I owe you some praise, Dante says. A sinner just took down multiple foes at once. Easy. Okay, let's look at that map again. Uh, Karen, can you please focus? Looking at the trio arguing over the map once again, a question arose in my mind. By the way, this bus was specifically made for Limbus Company, right? It was made exclusively for us, to be more precise. Isn't that basically what I just said? You appear to be failing to identify the nuance. That's weird. I don't think I spoke that part out loud. Is the clock broken or something? I can tell that much without hearing it verbalized. There is nothing that Foss doesn't know, after all. Anyway, it must have taken a long while to get it out of the oven, especially with that mouth on the side. It only took the expected amount of time. Well then! She's downright oppressive to talk to. Faust is well-renowned, is a well-renowned genius. She knows ins and outs of the city. Oi! If you're so smart, why don't you help those twits at the driver's side figure out the way? Can't sleep a wink with a constant bickering. Faust is no meddler. She answers two questions, but doesn't chime in without being asked first. Additionally, there is no greater joy for a human being than to ponder on problems in order to grasp an answer. Faust would rather not spoil that delight. He wouldn't get it. I doubt he's pondered on anything ever. I saw Heathcliff's grip on that bat titan, however. With Virgilius casting a glare his way, he clicked his tongue as he crossed his arms and forced his eyes shut. I wonder why they're so vitrilli vitriolic. Huh. You and me both, manager bud. You and me both. With the Gregor Snickers, the bus started again. Yahoo! Thank you, Faust. Yay! Oh. Gotta do the thing. Alright, let's see. Next up is 1-8 pests. 
level 4 difficulty. Radia looks out through the window at the back streets before flinching abruptly. Her eyes fell on a group of people with the heads of bugs. Then, Gregor's expression shifted as well. It was not out of flinching disgust like Radia, though. Well, whatever. In we go. Yeah, we, that's right. We're, we gotta wait a little bit before we can upgrade our characters. Clashes occur when two attack skills of the same power target each other. Gotcha. Rodian. Greg, you know those pals? Huh? Give me a break. There's no way I'd know someone in this corner of the back streets. Gregor's face goes dark the moment he looks out the window. Bug heads? Unlike the other miscreants we've run into, they were part insectoid. Gosh. Dante. Thank goodness your head's shaped like a clock. I would have gagged if my manager was a huge bug. Isn't that... The same type of augmentation you have, Gregor? They stitch disgusting insect heads to their necks on purpose. You'd better stay away. Wouldn't want to catch the pest. No. It, is that true? Just a joke. Does my sense of humor not fly with kids your age? While Gregor was left scratching his head, the bus made a languishing sound and came to a slow, deflating halt. In the past, G Corp had procedures on most employees to give them biomimetic weapons like the one Gregor has. You used to work for the old G Corp, Gregor? That company must have been... Ishmael frowned as if she remembered something unpleasant but didn't speak further. Gregor wore a smile on his mouth, but his hardened eyes were resting downcast just as a moment ago. I wonder where do people like them sleep at night? Oh, we even got to see Karen on the bus. <laughs> the bus is this way. For many, the sky is the roof over their head, and the stars are their firelight. Aha! So the, they're the poetic sort. I don't think that's what he meant. And, unless my eyes deceive me, they're intent on obstructing our journey. Aren't you going to get off? Gregor? Care to explain why you're calling my name specifically? Who knows? I don't feel like rambling about someone else's past with my own tongue. Take the lead, Gregor. You know the reason. You're one nasty fellow. A group of soldiers with the heads of insects gathered near the bus. I'm not too fond of being in the vanguard. What are you? Why does your arm look like ours? Hold on. I've seen that face before. Mostly on flyers and magazine covers, I'd bet. Gregor, do you know them from somewhere? Not really important right now, manager. Don't think we have the time for reminiscing. That arm bothers me, but whatever. Point is, I can't let you through. Is that so? I suppose we can't talk this out. Why are they showing their bucky sides out in the open anyway? They'd make kids cry. Really ought to take some concealing lessons from our Greg over here, huh? Right? I'm a special case. The procedure makes those buggy parts grow on the head most of the time. Although, I'm not sure if I'd consider myself lucky. It feels like they're trying to stop us from getting to the branch facility for some reason. Are they after the golden buff too? Maybe so. There ought to be many that are after the essence. And I'm sure each has their own wishes. Isn't that true? What's that look for? I haven't got a clue either. Alright, come back to this static character HP bubble stagger threshold. They are extra thick damage. Extra thick damage is all we really need, personally. There's nothing more that we need than just more damage.
All right, finally, we're fighting something other than just generic man. My clock isn't a magic cure-all for all. Don't just charge in willy-nilly. Charge in willy-nilly? Understood. Second wave! Absolute. Let's start this EGO now. We'll be here for a long time. Presentation of Meta. Clever. I baga go to bed. Good luck in the dungeon. Thanks. Night. See you later, Clever. Thanks for being in. Womp. Didn't even need the Ichio. <sighs> but still, fast was still the best. Yeah, yippee! Ooh, lunacy! All right, you bunch of losers, let's just play this. Guides, look for difficulty. After a number of scuffles and scrapes, we arrived at an old lobotomy corporation branch near the entrance. New faces were awaiting us. Ooh. I thought, ah, oh, all right. So you gotta play it at least once in order to get the enemy info and understand them. Kinda like what we've been doing. Even see their attacks and stuff. Makes sense. Like a memory repo. You get previously uh, unknown information known to you. We're here. Karen knew the way all along. No! No, you didn't! Sinclair and I had to steer you from both sides non-stop! I'm glad that at least you learned to tell the difference between southeast and northeast, Karen. So this is the old L Corp? 
This is my first time seeing it with my own eyes, too. I can't have been long since that happened. My goodness, how can a building be in such a derelict state? Ha! This is a surprising scene for our rich boy, is it? Cut the chatter, time to step off. Huh, there are people over there. They're fixers, from the same office as Miss Yuri. They're experienced explorers who have visited the branches of Elcorp a number of times. Give your greetings. The person on the left is Hopkins, and the one on the right is Aya. Greetings. The... 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 the, the red gaze. It, it's... It, it's such an honor to meet you. I've heard so many stories of your deeds, and to see you in person... <sighs> see the shabby warehouse there? That's where the stairs leading down to the branch facility are. From there, Yuri here will be your guide. Y yeah. These fixers have been around a bit. Count on them to handle complications. That should be enough, yeah? This is as far as I can accompany you. I'll be waiting back at the boss. Huh? Wait, what? You're sorely mistaken if you expect me to babysit you forever. Dante. So you'll take a back seat and uh, idle away all alone? If I get myself involved, the expedition would be a little too free of challenge, wouldn't it? I'd turn... it turn into more of a tour. In other words, you want us to come back red, black, and blue. That's the kind of line of... Huh? Mr. Ruby, day 1974 since the last major update. We... Okay, we get it! We get it! No updates. We're screwed. We ain't get no updates. Valve doesn't care about TF2. Yeah, we still play it. <sighs> anyway, that's the kind of line people with ulterior motives say. Think whatever you want. I've got new guides and everything, so do your best down there. Yes! I certainly won't disappoint you, Mr. Redgaze. I'll try my best, I think. First time chatter, Zerantain. Yawn. My thoughts, too. <gasps> this game is uh, kind of slow at the beginning. How long does it take for it to get more engaging? Water break. More bug people. Fantastic. This is a complete waste of my time. We're not really encountering that many, like, abnormalities. If only there was an easier way to tell if I had these things ready. Other than just this. And have it just remember it. Well, whatever.
Ooh, staggered. And you're done. Oh. It's a turn, if it kill one. Lame. Ooh, what's this EGO? Branch of Knowledge, inflict six rupture, and on it. Gain attack power down for the next turn. Ooh. When hit by an attack, take fixed damage by the effect's potency. On himself? No, on the enemies. Also uses grains. Here we are. Huh, hold on, I got it. Another easy mission. <laughs> Manager level increased! I now- Oh! 69! Nice. Nice. Almost there. Grade 8 fixers. Difficulty level 5. Just before we entered the LC branch facility, Virgilius stopped me all of a sudden. It seems he has something to say to me alone. Fascinating. You know, LC could mean Lobotomy Corporation or Limbus Company. Legima Company. Dante, a moment with me, please. While the team was busy exchanging greetings, Virgilius called me to a secluded place. Let me tell you in advance that there are only Grade 8 fixers. Grade 8? It means they're low rank drudges, errands being their main tasks. Use them for your benefit, but don't rely on them. Lobotomizer, that I know. Yep. I can't count on them to deal with everything for us, in other words. I nodded to let him know that I understood his point. You might be the only one on the boss I can actually converse with. Ironically, he's the one that can't speak, although that's what he means. <coughs> well, best of luck, Dante. Virgilius pat my shoulder with a bitter smile before slowly making his way back to the bus. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Start battle. Characters assume the sin resistance is the lowest grade EGO they have equipped. Alright. Hey, straight back in the battle. Let's go. Yeah, don't rely on being just a magic hero. That's not it. All right, let's do this. This is enough to activate fast CGO again. Ha, go Sinclair. Bruh. OK. 
Okay, I guess I'm wrong. Analytic eye. Intelligence is what matters most in combat. Intelligence allows you to re- Oh no, you're in for a nasty beating. Oh! That's not good. Ah shit, she staggered. Have been playing a lot of Library of Runa recently and well, this thing came out. Is it good enough? What's good enough? branch of knowledge. Woo! That obliterated. This one, the Limbus. I think this game is good. Yeah, it's good enough. Ha okay, I had some difficulties. Oh. Nice, now I can activate. Ligma Balls, special ability. Representation emitter. Foss knows all outcomes. AoE! Alright, gotta see for myself. I mean, I'm having a blast with it. It's all, There's a shit ton of cutscenes though, but if you played Library of Runa, you're probably already used to that. Again, again. And It's already over. I mean, it's just a simple gacha game, personally, like... You do a bunch of chains, that's the engaging gameplay. So far. This is like me being four hours into the game right now. Damage contribution. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, this is the end of it. Suppress the dungeon boss. Ooh! We're finally gonna be fight the boss, boys, for Branch DO2. Difficulty level 7. Wait, the last one was 5, so this is just skipping level 6. Alright, let's do this. During the final stretch of each chapter, you'll be exploring a dungeon, a branch facility of the former L Corp. Designate the identities who will enter the dungeon with you. You can't adjust your team once inside, so choose wisely. Alright. What does this bring everyone? Oh, another blue? Hell yeah. I like blues. Alright. So, but do I select? Hmm. Whatever. It's fine. I'm sure there will be no repercussions to my actions. 
We entered the derelict building of Lobotomy Corporation. I'm gonna look this up. Do not judge me. Derelict. Derelict. In a very poor condition as a result of disuse and neglect. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. As the light goes dim, the dreadful stench from underground grows stronger. Uh, the smell... It's awful! Mm. I can feel the waste collecting in my lungs. The odor is so intense, it wins back to refreshing. Let me warn you one last time. If you die here, Dante won't be able to resuscitate you even when the battle has finished. Resuscitate? Must be a popular joke or something. Woo! I can't even tell what kind of stories circulate the city these days. They seem to have misunderstood us, but seeing us Faust made no comment on it, I decided not to add my input. The sources of this rancid smell were more pre were more pressing concern. Oh, the breakdown of company I used to run. Yup. Looks like they probably died a while ago. An astute observation manager, the corpses have reached the stage of active decay. Ugh. Looks like the bugs are having a feast over there. Let's just hurry along. Huh? Something up, Gregor Babe? Are you scared of bugs? Now, I'm sure you're more mature than shoving dead bugs in someone's face. But just in case one of you- ah, Put it away! What's so funny about this? <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious. Who would have thought you that you of all people would be scared of these little wrigglers? Greg, did you hate it that bad? Forget it. Oh, uh, Zeratane. Maybe not that far from Library of Runa timeline. Who knows? You there, stop with your mischief this instant. Do not cause additional concerns for our manager. Thanks, Otis. Hold on. This body is still warm. Such is the sign of a recent attack. The gloom that had cast over Yuri's face cleared after observing the bodies for a minute. These aren't our... I mean, Lobotomy Corporation's... Employees. I heard these buried facilities are considered pure gold mines now, attracting all sorts looking for riches. Phrases like the lobotomy dream or the encephalin rush are apparently starting to catch on among fixers and syndicates. LD E rush got a nice ring to it. <sighs> That's what you have to say after keeping quiet for so long. Is such a frivolous use of English not prone to blurring the original meaning? That's what I'm say- Never mind. Huh? You seem to be talking a lot more than usual, Yi Sang. Does that reflect strangely? He was never really the quiet sort. He only had a shift recently. It's not a bad thing to have more lackeys with keen eyes. I'd like you to keep that up. Let us march. You make yourself look like the captain here. I dare say that role belongs to the manager. Please, forgive my insolence, manager. Frowning as though they, she were caught off guard, Otis bows to me as she apologizes. Th no, it's nothing. Let's head down. Most of the corpse's body parts were morphed in bizarre ways. One had pairs of wings protruding through the, their intestines, and another had horribly twisted antenna hanging down. Could this have been the cause of the bee queen, the queen bee? These look kind of similar to the thugs we ran into just before, don't they? You mean those bug-headed people? Quiet! I'm seeing uniform tangos ahead. As Otis noted, multiple figures could be seen down the corridor. Uniform? What's all that? Unidentified targets. Possibly hostile. I'm sure one idea crossed all of our minds. The 
enigmatic abnormalities that might be roaming this facility, as Faust mentions. That might be what those shadowy figures are. We have no choice but to face them. Crooked veteran. Hey, who goes there? Instead, what we faced was people. It was too early to deem that as fortunate, though. Uh, I thought we were the only people around here. Didn't they, did they slip past our team at the entrance? Those scavengers keep coming one after the other. Oi, bug buggers! You friends with the bodies back there? Bodies? You bastards didn't. Wait. I don't know where you scum are from, but hear me out a sec. You're here for the Encathalin, aren't ya? If you go just one floor down, there's a treasure trove just waiting to be nabbed. Their fascinating background is still there, I see. Oh, hell yeah. Whatever's on that floor is yours. We'll just take what we can here and be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> so you recognized me, huh? The moment the soldier's eyes landed on Gregor's face, their thin veil of kindness was torn down. Tra tra traitorous peasant. Uh, you must have been dispatched to the front lines too. I look better in real life than on those flyers, right? Cut the cheeky crap. I'm disgusted that I once saluted to your face. Whoa, easy there. It's not like you had to salute me in person. Well, you posed as a normal member of society thanks to your dumbass privilege freeing you from the side effects. We never even got a chance. You fraternizer. Fraternizer. We were thrown away right after the war was lost. I was tossed out all the same, you know. Isn't that how it is for all the soldiers? So this is the lifestyle he chose. Rifling through the trash like actual bugs. Halt! No good can come out of taunting your foe. You served the military too. You know where this is going. We're not getting out of this without a fight. We were never... We were planning to let you through. We really were. But now I'll mince you and your traitor friend into mutt meat. Like hell you were. You're gonna wait for us to climb back up with Ian Keflin so you could backstab us and swipe it. W wait. Were they? They fell into rock bottom and below. And I swear down, they don't care a whit for honor. Eh. Well, all for broke. People turn on each other as long as there's something. You're way too naive to think otherwise. Alright, characters participating in battle have combat passives that activate after chaining skills of certain affinities. Dungeon structure! Your goal is to reach the last section of the bottom floor and retrieve the golden ball. The dungeon consists of multiple floors, each rife with events and encounters. Clear the sector at the end of the floor to proceed to the next. Dungeon navigation. Oh! I didn't read that. I guess I, I don't get to read that. Sinners don't heal after battle while in dungeons. Sinners with zero HP are unable to participate, so keep track of their status. Reaching a checkpoint will allow you to fully restore your sinners. Can I go back and read that? Is there a way to do that? Defeats and retress. After losing a battle, you can reattempt it from the start with whatever living sinners remain on your full team. I don't get to. Oh well. Alright. So it don't really matter which way.
It's all the same. First impressions of the Lobotomy Corporation facility were downright gruesome, rendered speechless. We stared into the corpses of people with insectile features. Well, whatever. Ting gang leader, what the fuck? Pardon? Oh, oh, this lol. Yeah, I got that. I got a bunch of them from like a. Uh, I got a bunch of lucky draws early. I have good luck. It's my special in real life ability. All right. We won't be able to do orange though. This looks good. All right, let's go. Let's do this right now. Let's go. We're doing it. Let's go. Clashes occur. Blah 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 blah. blah. We get it. All right. Have a, let me have a sip of my water. How you enjoying the game, by the way, uh, Zero Tain? Yup. Yup. Mm -hmm. They're weak to slashing. That's good. All these attacks are slash. Well, most. The only one that's... These two are the only exceptions. I need green. Evade. Try that, yeah. The new system, the affinity thing, what do they do? Extra damage? Yeah, if you get like three in a row, like that deals like absolute resonance, which is like extra damage, two in a row is just, um, is just a small resonance. And also if you don't do them in a row, it's like something else, it's weaker. The more you have in a row, the more powerful an attack comes, I believe. Damn it. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, two of our allies are staggered. That's really, really bad. But hey, one of their opponents is staggered, so that means they don't attack, and they're the ones with two attacks, thankfully. Oh, 
All right, now all of our people are back. Damn it, still need one more. Wait a minute. EGO gifts, I, c I can't activate any of them yet. Damn it. The HP gift says otherwise. Yeah, the red bar obviously being the HP, not very not good. I need blue. now staggered character HP falls below the next stagger Gregor lights a cigarette and takes a drag followed by smoke streaming out of his mouth it'd have fared better than this if they got a job at a security company or something they spent their entire lives as soldiers the changes required for them to start a new life must have been overwhelming you have no idea how stubbornly the stigma of the fallen of a fallen wings remnants will haunt you. If anyone's generous enough to take you in, licking their boots is the least you can do. Oh, sorry about that. Should have chosen my words carefully. No, it's fine. I'm sure things were rough with G Corp's fall, too. The breaking of a wing is a turbulent affair for many people. Oh, wait, there's more? All right, this is an abnormality. Uh, we were perplexed by the encounter with creatures that, at first glance, resembled abnormalities. Yuri seemed just as confused as the rest of us. Here we go. Focus on blue. Always more. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna show me- I didn't think it was gonna be like Darkest Dungeon and it showed me the rest of the map later on and- Oh god, Zayans. In dungeons, creatures we call abnormalities exist. Encounters with them will be unavoidable. Begadalum Keldui. Abnormalities and their parts. Abnormalities consist of at least one body part. Each part of it has its own slot, as well as individual skills. Choose one of your center skills and drag it to the abnormality skill slot. Alright. Abnormality skills also have speed values, alongside determining the order of actions and abnormality speed. Abnormality skills also have speed values alongside determining the order of actions. You know, abnormality speeds are something to pay attention to when you wish to redirect its attack. 
When you order a sinner with higher speed to target one of the abnormalities skill slots, it will be forced to engage in a clash with its new target. Drag a skill belonging to a character with higher speed to change the abnormalities targets. Wait, what? What do I do? Oh. I assume this means I have to You've redirected the abnormalities target. These two will now get into a clash this turn. Oh, okay. By using speed this way, you can freely manipulate who an abnormality attacks. When confronting abnormalities, it is vital to switch targets so that they are forced into clashes that will play out in your favor. Now give your orders to the rest of the sinners. After you've planned out your sinners' moves, press here to begin combat. Breaking parts. When the HP of a body part is reduced to zero, it is broken. A broken part becomes vulnerable to all physical attack types. Some parts may lose certain skills or passives after breaking. Do note that some abnormalities will have regenerative parts as well as breaking, as that breaking certain ones may instead enrage an abnormality. Ah, the old system. Oh, is this like Library of Runa? Ouch. Ah. Ah! All right, we killed two at the very least. I guess the other, like, uh, beforehand was probably just the dungeon crawler. Here we are. EGL. Representation emitter. And sanity heal. Nice. I've never seen those before. You don't know? Hopkins' face quickly turned into a cold frown. It was in such stark contrast to the face he showed before Virgilius. I shuddered in fright. No! I... Well... Don't you know why we bothered to let a fallen wing's feather into our office? T to deal with requests taking place in Elcorp? Branches more safely? Exactly. I didn't even expect much from a low rank agent. Just two simple jobs. Lead the way and tell us how to deal with those abnormalities or whatever. Abnorm... Abnormalities or whatever. Now look. What do you expect us to do with just... Oh no, I've never seen those before, huh? 
Gosh, Hopkins, feeling hangry? Take it easy. If they are in fact new to Miss Yuri, then these might be another type of entity derived from abnormalities. Perhaps a new species. That corporation might not have had every specimen in their confines either. Yuri, there is no reason to lambast yourself for neglecting to remember what you were never taught. Ahem. Thank you, sir. What's there to argue about? All that matters is we beat him to death, right? Give it the word, and we'll do it. Hell yeah. That's a checkpoint. Continued battles have wounded and fatigued the sinners. It was about time I won my clock. Foss looks around for the right spot to let me do my thing. Inflict attack tower downs. I know her EGO is a sanity heal, but do we have any regular heals? No, that's a bleed. Damage over time. Oh. Heal two other allies with the lowest HP. Ooh! Oh, uh, but that cost yellow. Blue on a cyan. Okay. Swans. Doesn't look like a healer, though. Yeah, that's true. I may not have to rely on that, actually. Guy in the bottom right looks so over with his life right now, lol. Oh, you mean Gregor? Yes, 100%. Support passives. Ooh. What the hell are these? 
Oh, I have my thing back again. So we need one yellow, one dark, one light blue. Oh wait, no. Four yellow, one light blue, and hey, we already start with two uh, dark blues. All right. And for fast, we just need a green. And all right. Big damage. I like to take out individual units at a time. Oh, that ended early. It's over. Representation emitter. Fatal. Science girl. Yeah. Heal sanity. The know-it-all. It's fast. Impressive! I expected no less of the rest gaze's minions. What, you say? Oh boy, there goes Hopkins again, being clumsy with his tongue. I'll apologize in his steed. <laughs> What's taking you so long, though, Hopkins? Hemorrhoids acting up again? What? What? No, I'm not! Don't know what you mean! Hopkins got up after a bit of dawdling. His pockets were laden with something, but I decided not to bother pointing it out. Hemorrhoids. Shut up! Continued battles have wounded and fatigued the sinners. It was about time I winded my clock. Foss looks around for the right spot to let me do my thing. Let's do the thing. Let's see, what does checkpoint do? 
Well, I suppose this place is as good as any. As I opened the door, Foss suddenly stood before me. Dante, close your eyes and look for the glimmer hiding in the dark. Find the faint star of truth twinkling gently. A star. This one won't hurt, right? It shouldn't cause you any pain since you're simply locating it. Something about the way Foss put that bothered me, but I decided to trust her and block my sight. When you open your eyes, what seemed so far away will shine right into your vision. That's beautiful. That light, is it only visible to me? Not quite through you. Now all of us can see it. Even though we're inside a dungeon, we can now reap the benefits of your ability through the star. Can you please hurry up with the clock then? I think I dislocated my shoulder. The clock? It wasn't just for show? That's not all it does. They have a really neat power. You should come and take a look, Yuri. Well, no one recognize the pain I endure? Womp womp. Canceling EGO before using it will return its resources. Checkpoints. You can now you can find checkpoints as you explore the dungeon. You, your sinners will f fully heal their HP and reset their SP up upon reaching one. Ooh, swagalicious! When all your sinners die, you'll be brought back to your last checkpoint. Do note that progress made beyond said point will be reset as well. Boss time, and then we leave. Yeah. Info team passage. The clock restored every center to health, but the facility continues to grow more fo for foreboding. Hoping that I was only imagining that the spiky things along the aisles bristled up. We proceeded further. Alright, let's go. Boss time! Boss time! It only took an hour. Ah, oh, that felt real good. I'm dying here! What an amazing clock you've got! I haven't seen that technology anywhere! That has to be on the level of a si singularity. What wing could be responsible? Hopkins greedily stared at my head. I really tried to ignore it, but looking at his stuffed pockets again. Dante, why are you clutching your head like that? It, it, it it's nothing. Miss Faust, can our manager not restore the lives of our guides using the clock's power? The clock will only work for us sinners. Ah, gee. I suppose that's for the better. Imagine you're dragged right back to life with a gaping hole in your stomach. Wouldn't that suck? Nah, you know what? You're lucky if a hole is punched in your gut. You'd be a goner in seconds. Huh? Wait. Well, what's wrong with his head? Dante? Um, he lost his head and it's been replaced with a clock. We don't know why he lost his memories. You know, classic amnesia. A hard tentacle erupts from the wall and penetrates AS of abdomen in an instant. All units prepare... All units prepare for battle! But I tell you, I've always been a lucky girl. Aya! Her life was departed. Her life has departed. Come now, you'll have to keep together, especially in times like these, yeah. But, but... 
the attack is under an unusual form. It's likely that we are facing an abnormality. Manager, your command, please. I felt pity for Yuri. She looked at Aya's corpse and then back at us with tears. Nevertheless, Yuri, Hawkins, and Aya. Those three I can't revive. We have to fight now if we don't want any more casualties. A wise decision, manager. You can make sense of that ticking. Otis gave Hopkins a fiery glare, but soon reminded herself at her priorities and breathed it in to shout. It's the manager's orders, lackeys. You will surround the enemy in formation. The target is the uniform ahead. Uh, okay. To be honest, I'm not sure if you can say that thing has a form. Sully and Crouch vines followed by the shadow of a figure that looks to be several times taller than a human. It was approaching, but getting fright unlike any foe we've faced up until now. It will come. It shows no mercy. Fuck that! Brilliant fate? Fatality. Fate. Fatal or something. You may find abnormalities with multiple parts in the dungeons you explore. In such cases, each part will have different resistances and passives, and use different skills. We have prepared an abnormality encyclopedia for occasions like this. It lists the resistances, skills, and passives for each part. Select an abnormality to view its entry. The Abnormality Encyclopedia. The Encyclopedia records information on abnormalities in their parts. By nature, the Encyclopedia starts out incomplete. The more you fight an abnormality, the more its entry will be penned. After enough encounters, its observation level will go up. Higher observation levels can increase the damage you deal. Ooh. Alright. Oh, it's a wah! Alright. Green Distrust and Pale Storm. 17 damage. At the start of the turn, inflict one bind on all enemies. Speed decreases by the effects. This lasts until the roots have been broken. What? Oh. gains two attack power up for each intact arm. I see. Ebony Queen's Apple. Alright, let's see how this works. With Faust, deal 10 extra damage to units with negative status effects. This is not active. Ouch. Jesus! Flora's vines are... Flora's vines are a hassle. Maybe there'll be a chance to get rid of them. Sadly, they're staggered, so we don't get a chance for them to attack. Here we are. 
Woo! AOE. While fighting abnormalities, you may occasionally be tasked to make key decisions. These require you to choose a center or an action based on the current situation. EGO really is a thing, huh? Yeah, it is. These require you to choose a center or an action based on your current. An abnormality's response may vastly differ by the choices you make, so choose wisely. Checks. Checks represented by abnormalities have a required synaphidity and the threshold to pass. Choose a center with the right affinity for a higher likelihood of abnormality where actively depending on the choice. Passing the check will usually give you benefits or failing in burdens with disadvantages. A heart torn into thousands of pieces must be kept from all eyes, thus it burrowed into the ground and tangled itself. Yet someone has to pull up these thorny roots, as there is no wound that can remain unearthed. The sinners gave each other looks. Being coiled and piercing, sharp pain was something to avoid, even in one's dreams. Yet someone has to pull up these thorny roots, as there is no wound that can remain unearthed. The sinners gave each other looks. The wrath advantage. The dry earth must be upturned, which sinner was up to the test. Choose wisely, that sounds ominous. Yeah, you're right. The dry earth must be upturned, which center was up to the test. Woo! Yi Seng walked with shaky steps with bare hands. They dug up the roots. And their hands were at the doubts of others, the center realized that while the injury may heal, distrust may take deep root in their heart. All right, we passed. That was easy. The effect of entangling roots expired. Nice. Inflict one bind on all enemies. This lasts until the roots have been broken. Oh, nice. That means we have our speed back up. Oh, great, I gotta drink water. Thanks, Mr. Hoovy. There, I drank water. If that makes you happy. Alright. Damn. Nope. Oh, wait. I don't think we can afford anything with the, what little resources we have now. Wait a minute. Why does he keep going after Gregor? Oh no.
Hey, we broke one at least. Oh! If targets HP is above fifty percent, do extra damage. Uh, oh, that's that won't actually work. Oh. I'm almost destroyed. Destroy the roots. Hey, they're staggered. Nice. Almost dead. Done. Whew. Easy. Just had to take down the roots. Or whatever. So what? That was it. I heard abnormalities were supposed to be so powerful that even suppressing them is a dangerous task. It's the clip-off deterrence in action. Huh? Coffee pots? A force that weakens abnormalities. Its original purpose is to safely supervise them in containment. As we continue our assignment in collecting more golden buffs, the deterrents will weaken as well. Although, this was a simple battle. Later on, one of them might take our lives more than a hundredfold to handle it. That's a terrifying thought. Where did its corpse go anyway? I'm pretty sure that attack did in. It was filled without a doubt, all thanks to your exceptional command, manager. It couldn't have disappeared into the sky. Brilliant insight as always, manager. Such possibilities cannot be ruled out. Is it tough looking? Is the tough looking ceiling above us not a thing to you two? Over there. Listless Yuri pointed at something. The shock of losing a... Um, must have shaken her badly, but seeing her hold her own and keep her head up. I felt I should let her be and follow along with her for a while. Is that an egg? It's the core of the abnormality. When suppressed via appropriate measures, it will be reduced to this condensed ovate, ovate form. And it'll hatch. Once enough time has passed here. Hatch? You gotta be joking. You mean, those things won't die? Abnormality simply cannot die. It's one of the factors that contributed to L Corp's massive energy production. As an employee, my job was to put the Corp back in its containment unit. Now things have changed. I don't understand. It's the core. 
is the core of the abnormality, and that's why abnormalities don't die when you destroy them. Um, what can we do before this egg hatches? Olympus Company has a department dedicated to dealing with abnormalities like this. They'll retrieve them for us. Right. Was it the after team? I remember hearing about them during orientation. What's stopping you from calling them now? The transmission device is on Mephistopheles. Figures. No need to worry once we have the golden buff. We'll return whether we whether we like it or not. Hmm. I wonder what this little story is about. We went down a floor. I didn't think I'd have I'd come back here. Most of Lobotomy Corporation's facilities consist of multiple floors, and each floor is expected to be occupied by an abnormality marking its domain. Seriously? There's more of them? So, where do you figure all that info out? Info about what we'll face and stuff? Faust knows it all. Figures. The guide said a before team does reconnaissance in advance. So you only know that because you have ties to the staff? I never claimed otherwise. Anyway, this means we should expect a great threat of every f on every floor. It'd be idiotic to advance into the unknown without making sure that we're clear of danger in at least one direction, leaving us with no choice but to take them down as we go. You took the words right out of Faust's mouth. Is it not a splendid thing to be able to convey your intentions before they have been verbalized? Dante, it's time to see the star. I'm your manager, not a scapegoat, you know. Alright, EGO gift get. For the first three turns of battle, inflict two bind on all enemies. Ebony Brooch! <laughs> EGO gifts. Whoa. Speed decreases by the effects count for. Oh. There's more? God damn it. Deploy waiting room. Risky encounter. We don't have a choice. Alright. Let's go. Employee waiting room. A shadow appears in the dusky corridor. It carefully watches us approach. It was clear that we were not going to be welcome pr a welcome presence to each other. Yeah, I didn't think that. Like. At all. Whatever. Enter. Unwelcome. Unwelcome. The fuck is that? Another veteran appeared in the dark carrying a depressed aura. Oh yeah, he looks depressed alright. His sparkling old badge seemed to signify a high rank once held. Manager Kruger? He was a manager? I think I remember that face of yours, but why? I was the head manager of your team. Not only did you desert us, you now have the audacity to take the lives of your old comrades, my subordinates. Look, the war ended a decade ago, but I guess some folks still haven't let go of their obsolete ranks. Huh. Ended? Nothing has ended. 
Gregor, I think, deserted this company as he was once a manager at the at Lobotomy Corporation. Nothing has ended, damn it. The war may have been over for you when you deserted G Corp. We're fighting for our lives on the battlefield to this day. As much as I didn't want to relate to you this way, I'm not really that different here. Then you want to understand it, Gregor. There is only one verdict that awaits deserters. You say that like it means something. But it's against company policy to carry out summary execution for personal revenge. My head manager. Who this guy? Who that guy? Yeah, we, we kind of get it. <laughs> Alright. My strategy. Let's take out this guy. Uh, I think he's weak to slash damage. A lot of them are. Not surprising. Oh, it's regular combat, that's right. Oh, I can do it from the beginning. Fresh start. Musica! I, I assume you meant the music. Fresh start? I don't know. AoE. Increase sanity. That was so fucking slow. All right. Whatever. Comrades are dead. Finish it. Boom. Fatality. That was supposed to be hard. Perhaps the time that this, perhaps the time this ex-soldier spent off the battlefield was long enough to rust his prowess. The only survivor is going down. Yep, the head manager who must have defeated countless enemies in his glory days was now nearing his own end. You were once well respected, Gregor. I never really asked for respect. 
Don't proceed any further. Only hell awaits you. Sorry, but I don't think I can follow your advice. I ought to be a go-getter if I don't want to be fired. Have you abandoned your honor? For some pittance? I sold that away long ago, right with my medal. Landlord couldn't wait for rent any longer. A better smile appeared on the head manager's face. You're no different from us. In the end, we're nothing but disgusting pests. He took a few more shallow breaths, then ceased to move. Hey, mind if I borrow a cig? Just this once. Better put the borrowed cigarette next to the one he already held in his mouth, then lit it and tossed it on the chest of the deceased commander. Sorry, I didn't share mine with that thing. Oh, didn't want to share mine with that thing. Gregor. Is he some kind of war hero? No, he was a manager at Lobotomy Corporation. Ryushu gave a snort. The smoke from Gregor's cigarette lingered with the prevailing silence in the air for a short while. More abnormalities and then a random event. Strange. Peculiar. Here we are. Another abnormality. There appear to be no more signs of the ex-soldiers from this point onward. The commander did warn us not to go further. As we proceeded, we discovered bodies that seemed to have been there for quite some time. These are our... No. L Corps employees. I see traces of blunt instruments. All the bodies share them, in fact. A management report. This document contains instructions for keeping abnormalities in check. Normally, employees tasked with catering to abnormalities memorize the instructions to the point of reciting them flawlessly. They don't usually carry notes like these. I dare suspect that no remaining employees had the necessary information when an abnormality breached. If the eggs weren't moved into containment yet, that could be the case. There are way too many corpses here. What kind of abnormality could have massacred all these employees? Wait. What's this smell? You see, our office purchased an expensive device the other day. What are you on about? Sources suggest that toxin levels started to rise after a certain floor. Uh, I've been bleeding from my ears a bit. Is this okay? No battle is without adversary. <laughs> I was told that continued exposure to it may cause bleeding like that. Mm, how are you so fine, though? This is... It's the anti-abnormality gas grenade supplied to employees. I'm a right guy. One must have... Gun off somewhere between the bodies here. 
True, the toxicity levels do appear to be intense around this area. Upkins had put on a gas mask before we noticed. Hey Dao, what about us? We weren't granted any additional supplies. You slippery rat, you knew all this time, you're not getting away- Heathcliff stopped mid-sentence and fell to one knee. Your blood flow will quicken if you are agitated. In other words, the toxin will spread faster. Try to remain calm. Minimize movement and breathe at regular intervals. Hopkins, why? <coughs> why didn't you tell me about this? Oh, I've got a question for you too, Yuri. Why would I make our office waste our precious funds on expensive gadgets for dead weight like you to use? If we're being real, it's a miracle that you managed to join us in the first place. Let's see, Zinnerton says, So basically they go everywhere without any supplies. Well, no, we. It's, I don't think our, t comp our Limbus company knew about this gas thing. Only Hopkins and I, maybe... Aya did. Nobody else knew. Maybe Aya took pity and gave you special treatments. But she's gone now, so who cares? Sneaky blighter. Is that how you want to live? Don't be silly, everything's fair game for a fixer. Hearing that the red gaze at company tickled my curiosity, but as it turns out... You were just a bunch of ragtag lunatics who thought it'd be a good idea to walk straight into these facilities with zero prep. What a sick joke! Can't do anything but watch! Feeling the ire towards him, Hopkins backed away and scurried to the exit. Well, at least I managed to grab an armful of encephalin thanks to you. I'll write in my report that you all went missing. Cause suffocated to death. Is just too embarrassing. Ta ta. Yuri slumps to the floor, watching blood pour from her nose to her hands. She's not the only one. Radia, Heathcliff, and the other sinners are suffering from blood loss too. Gregor? I took this with me so you could have something to remember her by. He was holding the same type of gas mask as the one Hopkins wore. But... Why? Heard I, uh, Gave you special treatment, didn't she? This is as good as yours, then. As for our unprepared band of lunatics, we do have a way out. Don't worry about us. Manager behavior. Coughing up blood, Yuri put on the mask. I know, he's right. I know earning recognition from an office of strangers is a hard thing to do, even if I take on all kinds of errands day and night. There were only three minutes left until the branch was locked down. Initiating site burial. The doors were about to close on me. Energy transfer is 85% complete. Yuri, don't leave me behind, Yuri! So what else am I supposed to do? Is it so wrong that I survived? Should I have been buried alive alongside my co-workers? The whole building was going under all, so the abnormalities won't escape. <laughs> it is a sin. At least down here. <laughs> that stinks a little, Gregor. Standing astounded. I stepped back to reality and checked on the sinners. Half of them had already passed away on the floor, and Ishmael's head dropped just after she said her last words. A sin. <laughs> so what, buddy? If you got to live on like it's nobody's business. <clears throat> Laying guilt on yourself over spilt milk will wear your heart out. With Gregor drawing his last breath, Yuri and I became the only surviving members standing in the area. Um, d don't worry too much about us. I can take them back 
bear and revive them. I knew me mechanical ticking was all Yuri could hear, but I did my best to communicate my message to her nonetheless. I know. Yuri ended the conversation with not a word after. After a long period of awkward gloom, the toxic gas finally dispersed. Looks like it's okay now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hand. Let's go bring your people back to life. Saying that, Yuri took the gas mask off and calmly carried the sinners on her shoulders, one by one. Unsure what to say for her, I remain quiet. Especially since I can't- she can't fucking understand me. Doomsday Claydol? Death level abnormality save. By far the game looks just fine. Yeah. I couldn't undo a thing. Extra damage when above 50% health for the target. If the target's above their 50% health, it's easier to just fucking kill them. There. And where did that basket go? Oh! Random event. Oh no, it's... Wait, exclamation mark. And? We face the abnormality that most likely caused many disasters in the facility. According to Yuri, these abnormalities used to be under strict supervision, kept in check by detailed managerial procedures. I don't want to imagine what happened now that the facilities faced closure. No bitches. Were those abnormalities responsible for killing all of the employees? I doubt that. If my guess is right... Keep your eyes ahead, manager. There's another one of them. A humanoid being wearing the head of a statue was sitting against the wall. Dude, it's the clay dolls. Statue head... Hi. Are you... Here to draw your lots. 
gather all your IDs and give them to me. Then we'll find the winner. Its hand was barely grasping onto the strap of an employee ID card. Alex was the name written on it. Alex. Gone nuts, hasn't she? And what's that babble about winners? Some abnormalities demanded regular offerings as part of the managerial guidelines. You shouldn't go that way. They'll find you. And the offering happened, didn't it? It's your turn to draw offering. What happens if no human sacrifice is made? We never found out. We followed every procedure without fail. I guess it escaped and started killing people left and right. <laughs> that abnormality must have been one spineless bugger. Does it thwack victims in the back of the head? What do you mean? Did you all get jabbed in the eyes or what? Those wounds were clearly left by humans. You can tell that they were beating the shite out of each other. Those thickos killed each other in a fight. But, but for what reason? It's clear as day. Probably figured they could survive a while even after the branch was buried. Keep offering folks from time to time and the rest might get rescued one day. Guess they kept the lots going for a few months. It was the safest way. They had to keep the thing in check. Problem though. I think the one picked as the fall guy would gladly accept his fate. If I was them, I'd rather strangle the bloke next to me. Better them than me, ain't that right? And the rest is history, I bet. And the last survivor put on the stone mask belonging to the statue heads, believing that it'll save her from being sacrificed. Th that can't be! Alex wouldn't kill others just so she could live! How do you know that? You can't even be sure if that's actually Alex or not. Let me give you a tip. You'll be much better off going on your own foot before they come take you. Let us be on our way. This person will perish before long. While everyone else moved along, Yuri remained in place and continued to stare down the statue-clad individual. It wasn't your fault. You know it's not, right? Leave me behind, Yuri. Please, leave me. Time to go. They're rummaging through corpses, looking for something. Relentless demands for an offering ring in the ears. They look like they might jump us at any time. You see a dying person nearby, gasping for air. Should you offer this person up? Or... I don't know what this means. If you want to know what that means, I don't know. Like, you can play the game for yourself, but I think I'd do this, because this is a win to gain a stronger EGO. This might be just a joke or something, or maybe they'll actually just die or something and I bring them back. But I mean, I'm going to do this for the stronger EGO gift. This is the easy way out, but let's do this. Angered by your inaction, the clay dolls attacked you. No shit. But the next battle gain, I need the bloodied mask of a devotee. 
to battle, I guess. Yep, that looked like a joke. Yep. Analytic eye. Doomsday Claydol. Alright. Looks like a Mayan thing. Yeah, probably. I couldn't, I can't tell. I'm not familiar with this abnormality if it's from Lobotom Corporation, but it may not be. Not all abnormalities are. In, like from Lobotom Corp. like uh, in this game, maybe actually in Lobotom Corporation. As there are new abnormalities in Library of Runa from what I remember. Easy. Video gift, nice. All allies gain plus five offense level and plus five defense level. They're far from the things I saw in Library of Ruina. Yeah. Checkpoint and then a boss. We face the abnormality that most likely caused many disasters in the facility. According to Yuri, these abnormalities used to be under strict supervision, kept in check by detailed managerial procedures. I don't want to imagine what happened now that the facilities faced closure. And another boss fight. Another one. We face the abnormality that most likely caused many disasters in whatever it is. Same thing. Here we are. Let's do this. We're doing this. I wonder if this is the last boss fight. Absolute residence. Alright, here we are. Doomsday Calendar. Ah. <sighs> No skills, no passives. I wonder what this thing does, if anything.
Ouch. Ooh. Talk like the manager does. The manager rewinds the clock or turns it back to bring people back. The abnormality looks upset, seems to want something, but what should we give? Oh, now it actually has the attacks. Here we are. Slam, slam, slam. Pass. Slam, slam, quake. Out the minions. Representation emitter. AOE. Increased sanity. Fatal. Aw oh, man, and they got to attack. Uh oh. Oh. Hey! It's not actually that threatening. Oh. There are many ways to calm one down, but this abnormality seems to like gifts the most. A fresh batch of blood might be able to appease it. Offer center. Looks like one of the centers will have to do a clay doll's job. Lust. Let's try it. All right, check passed. It appears that Sinclair's blood was fresh enough. Satiated the abnormality to come down for a moment. Thank God I only needed one. Sinclair loses 20 HP. Good, he had the most. All of Doomsday Calendar's parts gain... What? Oh, gain three attack power down. Good. All right, that's overall good. So it's even weaker for like. All right, that that's pre that's pretty good. a new attack live offering Jesus Ooh, 
what's this guy's? Apply haste to allies. And dead. There we are. Oh. I didn't get to use the ability. Oh. Target's HP is... Third phase, most likely. I might have to resort to the AoE. Lost. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> to weaken the flame, you'll need cool water. Since we aren't carrying any buckets of water, we should offer up someone cool instead. You gave a living clay doll as tribute. The flame shrunk of... Sense of dangerous glow. Oh no. Unclashable cannot be countered. Wait, what? The stars are twinkling. When they shine, they'll rob us all of our sight. What gift would you, uh, the stars like? I don't have a choice. It's one of the centers will have to do a clay doll's job. Whose voice could lull the stars to sleep? I have to do her. She's the only one with a very high. Check past. Fast lullaby brought the stars into a deep slumber. Their starlight will leave us be for a while. Ah oh, no. 
All centers lose their SP. Abnormality suppressed. Good, a center has taken down a foe. Let's keep this up. Yeah. This floor is crawling with maggots. These bugs aren't so bad after the last floor sap normality. Don't want anything like that ever again. <laughs> sure, Greg would be glad to hear that, aren't you, buggy buddy? Gregor wasn't paying attention, Narodia. Don't you all hear something? We've been hearing a constant growl. Radia, are you really that hungry at a time like this? H hey, you're supposed to let that kind of stuff slide. Please, girl? No, not that. It, it's like... For the first time on the expedition, Gregor walked ahead of the group and opened the door next to him, as if by some compulsion. Wait! That's a containment unit! It's like... that time. No, the door was already open. Gregor gazed into the shower of golden light. <laughs> Gregor gazed into the golden shower, light pouring from the room. Gregor... Did we... travel back in time? Color from above? I don't know what that means. Travel back through time. I see an overcast sky. Cries and screams twist and ring out at a distance. And in that sky, gunfire and artillery create a cacophony. Isn't it clear enough? This is... A battlefield. The heart of it. Uh, am I... Dreaming? Or a nightmare? What? Why are we here again? Darkest dungeon dick... Color of madness it was. Ha, <laughs> Darkest Dungeon DLC, I see. Okay. So... Where the hell are we in a bloody battlefield? Is this a trap or something? No, we're on the right track. The essence of the technology we're looking for is not far from here. You mean, the Golden Bath? Correct. Do you recognize when this was? Anyone with functioning eyes should know that at a glance. Um, I actually don't. I confessed. It's obvious that you wouldn't recognize this, manager. You don't have eyes that fit conventional definitions. Was that the best excuse you have? Otis cleared her throat as if to ma mask her embarrassment, then turned her narrow gaze to the battlefield. Judging from the colorful wave of garish flag showing off the factions in play, this is at least 70 days into the smoke war. This concludes briefing, manager. Suddenly, there was a strong tug at Heathcliff's coat from behind. You out of your minds? You need shelter now! You'll age rapidly if exposed to that bomb's blast! The outpost next to ours turned into a nursing home! They can't even walk without sticks! What the hell are you and why do you act like you know us? Oh! Manager Gregor! I respect, sir! The bandaged man snapped to attention and saluted Gregor as, as soon as he saw him. <laughs> you... You wouldn't recognize me, sir. I I'm Toma, from Biomimetics Maintenance. I thought you were part of the front unit. I didn't expect to find you here at the back. Are you on your way to the front? I could help you get there since the augmentation on my legs allows me to jump. Where that sounds gross. Toma looked at Rodia with suspicion. You. Why did you just... Hey, hey, Toma. So you're an assistant manager. Or regular staff. Sir! Yes, sir. I'm an assistant private, sir. Er, uh, you see, she, she sees a new hire who had her procedure not too long ago. So she's still getting used to the confusion, you know. I'll give her a good talking to. Ah, I get it. A corporation must be getting desperate sending unprepared employees to battle. Yeah, where? Sorry for the trouble. I've got to take us somewhere real quick. Gregor practically yanked himself out of the conversation and hurried, hurriedly walked to Faust. Just what's going on, Faust. He is our 
in my memories. We're in the fathoms of your ego, to be precise. An open path in your psyche, in other words. We've entered your heart and mind, Kreger. Why is this taking so long? Ooh. Honestly, I'm kind of tired right now. I kind of want to just end here. I don't know if this is if there's going to be multiple more floors or anything. But yeah, I'm kind of tired. Like, for my time, it's 12.38. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you, Zerotane, for watching, though. It means a lot that you stayed for pretty much all of the stream, basically. Or most of it. This game is seemingly uh, getting pretty popular, honestly. I've been seeing a lot of memes on like U YouTube and regarding about like the entire game, despite it only being out for like what a few days, a week or two. It it's already messed a pretty big following, but I'm gonna just uh... main menu, save your progress, and return to the main menu. You're welcome, bro. It was fun. Thank you, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm GamingBoy2864. If you're interested in seeing my past live streams, you can check out my YouTube channel. Clear, clear. Done. Fortnite Battle Pass. Alright. And modules. There we are, and I am done. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you're interested in seeing my past live streams, check out my YouTube channel under the same name, GamingBoy2864. Shameless plugging, yada yada. I know nobody really cares. But anyway, thank you for watching. That's all I really cared, that you, you stayed for, a, for so long. And I'll see you all next time. Later!